Before you buy your first air gun, it's important to have a basic understanding of the various technologies available. In this video, we're going to take a look at the four basic power systems and talk briefly about the benefits and drawbacks of each. Let's get started. Pump pneumatic air guns utilize a built-in pump. Some products only need one pump, while others may require several pumps to see full power. They do not store air for multiple shots, but rather expend it all at once, so the shooter must pump the air gun before each shot. Pump pneumatic air guns are available in both pistol and rifle configurations, and are great for plinking and basic target practice. The main advantages to pump pneumatic air guns are that they are self-contained and do not require any additional fuel, they also don't have any recoil, making them easy for new shooters to see repeatable accuracy. Lastly, pump pneumatic air guns are usually very inexpensive, and some can shoot both BBs and pellets, making them very affordable for plinking and basic target practice. On the downside, they really don't generate a lot of power, and they will require work between each shot, sometimes as much as 10 pumps. CO2 powered air guns are next on the list. These products utilize CO2 gas that's stored in 12 gram cartridges, 88 gram cartridges, or even bulk filled into a reservoir stored on the gun. Having a volume of CO2 gas available allows manufacturers to build repeating air guns. These may be bolt action, semi auto, and even fully automatic. Most replica air guns are powered by CO2. CO2 air guns are best suited for action pistols and plinking but there are some high-end CO2 guns that are used for 10 meter pistol and rifle competition. These are some of the benefits of CO2 powered air guns. CO2 allows for multiple shots per cartridge. The shooter may need to cock a bolt or load a projectile, but that's it. Some products have magazines that hold multiple projectiles and allow for semi-automatic and even fully automatic operation. Some of the drawbacks to CO2 would be the fact that you have to go buy CO2 cartridges if you want to go shooting. Also, CO2 is very temperature sensitive, which affects performance. Shooting too fast or in cold weather will greatly reduce the performance of a CO2 air gun. Modern spring powered air guns are possibly the most popular air guns on the market today. They are powered by either a metal spring or some type of gas ram. They are cocked by the barrel or some other lever, under lever or side lever being the usual options. These air guns produce much more energy than pump pneumatics and CO2 guns. Spring powered air guns are very simple and can be very affordable as well as very expensive depending on the manufacturer and build quality. Spring air guns come in many calibers from 177 up to 25 and cover many shooting disciplines such as target practice, field target, small game hunting and pest control applications. The primary advantages to spring-powered air guns are that they are self-contained and yet produce tremendous power. They come in many shapes, sizes, and all price ranges. The main downside to spring guns is the fact that they produce a unique recoil. This means you have to learn a special technique called the artillery hold if you want to see repeatable accuracy. Pre-charged pneumatic air guns, called PCP air guns, combine the best of all three previous air gun technologies. They have an onboard air reservoir that stores high pressure air, generally up to 3000 psi. This allows for multiple high powered shots. PCP powered air guns come in single shot varieties as well as repeating options and are available in calibers ranging from 177 up to 50 caliber. Larger calibers can shoot pellets as well as cast bullets making them suitable for predator hunting and even large game where permissible. There are many benefits to PCP airgun products. They can produce tremendous power without much recoil, making them very accurate and easy to shoot. The ability to have multiple shots at the ready makes them perfect for hunting applications. 
The primary downside to PCPs is that they require high pressure air to operate. Using a specially designed high pressure hand pump is the most direct way to fill a PCP. They can also be filled via scuba tank or high pressure carbon fiber tank. Regardless of which type of air gun you choose, be it pump pneumatic, CO2, Springer gas ram, or PCP, Air Venturi has the right air gun for your needs and the right team to stand behind your purchase.